Wyoming, the last of the 50 states. Okay, so alphabetically last. It was actually the 44th state in the United States, but Wyoming should definitely not be last or even 44th on your list of where to live. In my humble opinion, Wyoming should probably be near the top of the list. But while you're considering moving to Wyoming, there are a few things you should definitely know before moving here. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team, and I have to warn you, it's not all pretty, but here are the top 10 things you should know before moving to Wyoming. Number 10, the weather will make you wish you hadn't moved here at least once. You might have heard a few things about the weather in Wyoming. Some might be accurate and some might be big exaggerations, but there are some things that you need to know. It will most definitely get below zero degrees Fahrenheit, most likely more than once each winter. There are parts of the state that don't usually dip below zero. Wyoming winters tend to have average lows of around five to 10 degrees. There are usually less than 10 cold waves in the state. So there is that to look forward to. So cold waves with below zero temps, check. Now let's talk about the wind chill. I think it's the wind chill that will get you. Not all of Wyoming is super duper windy, but a large portion is. And sometimes in the winter, it isn't the temperature, but the wind chill that really gets to you. The last couple of years, we have had a couple of weeks with wind chills as low as 30 below zero and even colder. Number nine, the weather will make you glad you moved here at least once. So as we covered, winter in Wyoming can be brutal, but it can also be magical. There is nothing better than watching fluffy snowflakes drop out of the sky and cover everything with a blank canvas of white winter wonderland. Nothing better than creating fresh footprints or snowshoe tracks or ski tracks through untouched snow. Wyoming is truly a winter wonderland. The crisp, cold, fresh air, snowy mountains, and space to enjoy so many different winter sports. What about the rest of the year? Wyoming is a bit on the arid side of things, but the good thing is that we do have all four seasons. Much focus is on the winter, of course, but we do have brief but beautiful autumns, interesting springtimes, and summers to remember. With temperatures averaging 85 to 95, it is warm enough to enjoy the great outdoors without always having to sneak the comfort of air conditioning. Summers in Wyoming mean camping and lake fun, floating the river, paddle boarding, the reservoirs, so many different activities. You can fill the summer with fun. Number eight, you don't have to love the great outdoors to live here, but it helps if you do. One of the greatest things about Wyoming is the access to the great outdoors. Wyoming has rivers, mountains, lakes, prairies, and all the outdoor activities you can think of to do. Not only do you have amazing access to all these different areas for outdoor fun, with the low population of Wyoming, you have to share the space a little less than in other areas. If you're interested in hunting, Wyoming offers some of the best from bird hunting to large game hunting. If you like to fish, Wyoming has some of the best fly fishing around. So no, you don't have to love the outdoors, but with all the amazing things to do here, you will probably learn. Number seven, if you love large crowds, Wyoming is probably not the state for you. With a population of under 600,000 people, you can find a large crowd if you really want to, but you'll be more likely to find space than people. After all, we have about six people per square mile. If you really want people, there are a few larger cities to offer you the best of both worlds. Big city amenities, small town feel. Our largest city is Cheyenne with a population of around 64,000 people. Plus it is situated at the Southern end of the state, close to Colorado. So it's easy to visit the real big cities if you're into that sort of thing. Then comes Casper, where I live. Population around 58,500, right in the middle of the state, or at least we feel like it is. Being in Casper means you are close to many of the attractions of Wyoming and the surrounding states. Without too far of a drive, plus we have our own ski resort and several nearby reservoirs making Casper a great place to enjoy the outdoors. Our one and only state university is located in Laramie, also in the south, close to Colorado but with a little lower population than Cheyenne with around 31,500 people. If you're looking for a really small town, we have those too. Try Lost Springs, population two. So most likely you aren't looking for a town quite that small. There are several other options, a little bigger with a lot of charm, like Thermopolis, home of the world's largest mineral hot springs and 2,800 people. Saratoga is another cute little town with a hot spring and a low population at just under 1,700 people. 
It has hunting, fishing, shopping, and great views of all that Wyoming nature has to offer. Story Wyoming is just outside of Sheridan, another great option, situated just 20 minutes away from the city and has a population of 887. Up to the hills with the elevation of over 5,000 square feet, Story is close enough to Sheridan to enjoy what the city has to offer, but outside enough to enjoy all that nature has to offer. Sheridan is located in the northern part of the state, pretty close to Montana, and with a population of just under 19,000 people. It is a great mid-sized town if that is what you're looking for. Wyoming definitely has a mix of small, mid, and larger cities. But again, with a lower population overall, you will not find the huge cities that our neighboring states have to offer. Number six, there are still places in Wyoming that don't have cell service. If you're looking to get away from it all, Wyoming can help you out. Service has increased in recent years, but there are still areas where service is very spotty or non-existent. Not only has the service area increased, but company options have as well. From the major carriers to local companies, you do have some choices, but you had better check the coverage maps or you will find yourself with a provider that doesn't actually provide what you need. It is a pretty similar story when it comes to internet service as well. You have options, but less than the larger populated states. Speaking of population, number five on the list of things you need to know before moving to Wyoming is that people will definitely make you glad you moved here. I have met some of the most generous, kind, strong people all right here in Wyoming. The independent spirit of the Wild West is still alive and well in Wyoming, but it is tempered with a strong sense of community. It is an interesting balance between liking our space and being good neighbors. Maybe it's the fact that we value our space that makes us better neighbors. No matter what the reason, you can find someone willing to lend a hand when it's truly needed. Number four, speaking of neighbors, you probably need to know that over half of your neighbors own a firearm. Wyoming is ranked second in the United States for gun ownership. 66.2% of adults own a firearm here. So yep, over half of your neighbors. While this statistic might surprise some people, it really doesn't surprise me. Wyoming is known for hunting and outdoor sports, so firearms are part of the culture here. Two interesting facts about Wyoming are that we do have an open carry law. Meaning, if you're at least 18 years old and can otherwise legally own a firearm, you can open carry that firearm without a permit as long as it can be seen. Also, to note, if you meet the above criteria, you can take advantage of a law that allows concealed carry as well. So, even with over half the adults owning a firearm, you will not walk around the street and see a gun or two strapped to everyone. It is an option, but not everyone carries their weapons on a daily basis. It is the West after all, but not the wild, wild West. Number three, yes, the state is red. Wyoming is known for its strong conservative political climate with the majority leaning towards the Republican side of things. But it is important to know there are areas that lean more to the Democratic side of things. Teton County is one example. While the state is definitely more conservative, the independent character of Wyoming means that most people just want to live their lives and let you live yours regardless of the political differences that may come up. Number two, no state income tax. While this may change at some point, I think it is an area most of our residents agree on. They like the tax climate in Wyoming. No state income tax, lower property taxes, one of the 10 lowest in the country, and lower sales tax rates as well. The maximum sales tax allowed in the state is 6%. So you can see the overall tax burden in Wyoming is pretty low, especially compared to other places. So what is the number one thing to know before you move to Wyoming? Life may not be perfect here, but it may be perfect for you. If you love the great outdoors, four seasons, low taxes, and amazing people, then Wyoming is for you. If you're ready to move to Wyoming, give my team a call. We would love to help you find out if Wyoming is right for you. If you want more info, we have lots of other videos on our YouTube channel that might answer your questions, or we would love to talk to you. You might like this video or this one. Let me know if you have any questions that my videos don't answer. We love to talk to you. We love hearing from you in the comments below and love talking to you on the phone. If you are looking to buy a home in the Wyoming area, please give us a call. My team has time for you. And if it's out of my service area, I will find the perfect agent for you. Remember, we want you to love where you live. See you soon.